finally spring here in Salt Lake City and after this eternal winter, I'm so excited for this better weather, but that only means one thing around here, that's spring cleaning. Today I'm sharing with you my favorite Amazon home and kitchen organization and cleaning finds. So for me, when I am getting in this like cleaning mode, I like to deep clean. So the number one tool that I love to help me do this is my Bissell Steam Shot Cleaner. This is like the best thing to clean out all those little crevices, any equipment that's been sitting in your garage all winter, it makes everything so clean. It has all these different attachments and it gets the scum off of every surface that you can imagine. Also, I hope you never have to use it for this purpose, but this winter our neighborhood got egged and we had frozen eggs stuck on the stucco of so many houses and that Bissell steam shot honestly was like the only thing that got it off of some parts of these houses. So this is an amazing tool. I use it all the time for so many uses in the kitchen, bathrooms, outside. You need this Bissell steam shot cleaner. This is a best selling Amazon product. It has like hundreds of thousands of good reviews. It's the little green cleaner. It's a carpet cleaner. I actually really loved using this not only to clean carpets, but also to clean clean furniture. I have these like fabric seats for our dining room table and they get spilled on all the time because I have kids and it's so, so, so good at getting like dirt and grime and stains out of these seats. In addition to using Folex, I just spray it all over the cloth seats and then it just sucks all of the dirt out. And it's also really nice if you ever spill like a lot of liquid or water on the ground, you can use the hose to just suck up all the water and it's really good at protecting your floors and and cleaning them. I have a Dyson stick vacuum that is portable cordless, which I really love and I use it daily. However, it's not super great at like deep cleaning and like sucking the dirt out. It only lasts for a couple minutes with the battery time and everything. So I wanted something that was corded and that had like really good suction power for, you know, the rest of my house. So I purchased this shark vacuum. It had really good reviews. I kind of compared it against all the other vacuums that were on sale for Prime Day and this vacuum is amazing. Something that makes me really feel good about it is that I have a cleaning crew that comes and helps me a couple times a month to deep clean my house and to help me stay on top of things and they use the same vacuum. So I feel like that is a pretty good endorsement. I will vacuum using my Dyson vacuum first and that kind of picks up like surface dirt but then the shark vacuum like sucks up all the dust and all the extra stuff that's underneath that initial layer and this has been such an awesome vacuum. I also like that it's really small. It's like pretty discreet. And so I just put it in my laundry room upstairs and it has been an awesome vacuum. So if you are in the market for a vacuum, I highly suggest this shark one. We have one drawer at our house that is just like a nightmare and it is our Tupperware drawer. It's a large drawer under my oven. And as you can see, it is like a disaster. I have no idea how it ends up like this because I clean it out every couple months and then it's like nice and functional. And then it just turns into a disaster. Disaster. So what I did for spring cleaning this year was I took everything out and we cleaned it and we vacuumed it and we wiped it down and I replaced everything in there with just one set of the Rubbermaid Brilliance Snapware containers. Those containers are amazing. I've talked about them in so many of my other videos, but they're BPA free, they're stain free, they are like leak proof and they just work amazingly well. They're so good at keeping produce fresh. And I'm anyway, so I got a whole box set of these and I'm just replacing everything else. So then it stays clean and organized. And I don't have to worry about all these different lids. In addition to the Rubbermaid Brilliant set with all matching everything, I kept my lid organizer. So this this is like a drawer organizer. You can do, you know, Tupperware containers, snapware containers and lids. And so I put that back and I put in the smaller containers as well as the lids, our bent goes that we do for, for home lunches. I also have my gobies that I love for my kids for snack and just like other smaller containers that I still did want to keep. And this is so nice to just keep things organized. I wish I had an organizer like this for every single cupboard and drawer in my kitchen because it really does help. I like how 
how this is adjustable. So you can put it in a cupboard or a drawer and it has these little like fins that you put in to make dividers for different sections and you can adjust them to whatever size you need. All right, let's move on to my other drawers. So this utensil drawer has been kind of a disaster forever. We've had the same like utensil holder since I think my husband took it to college with him. Like I think I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law put that in his college apartment for him like when he came back to like go to school and we've had the same one for at least 12 years. It's at least 12 years old because that's how long we've been married. So I just wanted to get something a little different, a little bit more efficient, a little bit more modern. So I got these new utensil holders and I think they are just so chic and they're really nice because they're like little pockets that you put your utensils in. This one in particular has the little side drawer that kind of adjusts in and out and you can do different things. I put our chopsticks in there, but it's really nice to just keep the like eating part, like the part that goes in your mouth, like in a little contained part so then it doesn't have like dust and dirt and like other stuff getting on there. I also bought a smaller one to put on the other side because I didn't know how big this one would adjust. And I put all of our other miscellaneous utensils, our older utensils in there. And this actually has been working really well at our house. So let's move to the next drawer over. It's my knife and sharp drawer. So basically anything that has a blade on it goes in this drawer to just keep everyone safe. And I put a knife block one in there from the same company. It's the same design and it's so nice. Now I don't have to worry about my knives getting dull and banged up or getting damaged in any way. Also, so can I just say before I do any organizing in a sp specific space, I always take everything out of that space and then give it a little clean before I reimagine and reorganize it. So that's my number one tip is make sure you just take everything out, clean it out. So then you have a fresh and clean palette to work on. To do this, I really like to use my little Briggy vacuum. It's like a hand vacuum. And I keep this one in the kitchen for things just like this, because I don't like using like my big vacuum that goes in like yucky crevices to be touching like my kitchen drawers. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of a germaphobe that way, but I love it, it's so convenient and I use it like every single day. Now we're moving on to the other side of the counter, which is my large drawer. This is the one that I have all of my like cooking utensils and other things in. So this acrylic organizer is one that I got about a year ago and it has been so nice. Before I just had like a cheap utensil holder, like the one that I took out out of my utensil drawer and it just wasn't a very efficient use of space. This acrylic one not only looks really good, it's also adjustable so it expands and contracts to put in any space that you need. The containers are not curved on the bottom and so you're not wasting that space. There we go, now that looks so much better. Across from that is our junk drawer. Ours also shares a space with like our plastic wrap and our little sandwich baggies. And this drawer is kind of a nightmare because it's just kind of a dumping ground for like anything that doesn't actually have a home. So first things first, of course, I take everything out and then I got these new acrylic sandwich bag holders. So these are very trendy right now. Like everyone has them and they come in all sorts of different shapes and designs and materials. For me, I really wanted something that was acrylic and clear because I kind of like that aesthetic. And then I also wanted the ones where the boxes were individual and not like one giant like tray that you had to put in to the drawer in one spot. I wanted something where all the pieces were adjustable and movable so then I could put them wherever I needed. And then if I also wanted to just take one out of the drawer, I could do that as well. So these ones are nice because they have a little magnetic top that snaps on there. So then there's no hinges that can break. And I also like that you don't have to like stuff it through the hole. You can take off the whole top and then put things in there. So then nothing is going to break and it looks really nice. So this drawer also got a little bit of a makeover and it got cleaned up it feels much better. This next space is a little embarrassing to show because it's just kind of like all of our stuff in here, but it's the cabinet under the kitchen sink. I know I've always wanted to put some kind of an organization system in here, but it's just been kind of like, it is what it is, you know? So what I did was I ordered some of these under cabinet shelves and I'm hoping that they will help me stay organized and clean. Under my sink, I have kind of a unique situation with the RO water jug thing and just all of the wiring and stuff under there. So I wanted to make sure that it wasn't anything that was connected in the middle that would get in the way. This product contains 
two of these individual shelves and the bottom one slides out so that you can easily access things from the back. I love anything that has kind of like a roller board type of action. And then the top has these cool little hooks and a little cup to put in, you know, straws or sponges or brushes or anything that you need to use for the kitchen sink. So in these little caddies, I'm putting like my dishwasher tablets and my sprays and cleaners. I got this new stuff called the pink stuff. It has so many good reviews and I have been using it on my pots and pans. Anything that has like really stubborn like buildup, it has a little bit of coarseness to it. So it really does a good job of taking stuff off. This was one of the most highly rated Amazon cleaning products. So I definitely wanted to test it and give a review in my video. And then I'm also doing my scrub daddy. If you do not have a scrub daddy sponge these are amazing they are the sponges that were on shark tank like that's how they got their start and they honestly are amazing they are the best sponges and really like the only sponges that i use another thing that i really like to put under my kitchen sink is this little mini lazy susan this is nice because i have a lot of cleaning products and soaps and things like that under the sink but i don't like having to reach all the way in the back because then things just get lost and then you never use them so the lazy susan is really nice to have up in the front and it just takes care of everything. Let's move over to the coat closet. This has been such an annoying part of our house because that is like the main entryway into the garage. And so all of our shoes are there, our backpacks, everything. So it's kind of a dumping ground. And that closet just wasn't very functional. We don't wear shoes in our home. And so we always take them off when we come in from the garage. So what we did was we bought this big shoe organizer and we stuck it into the coat closet. We don't have a lot of coats in there anyway, so it worked out much better to use it as a shoe closet. This has been really nice because then we put our hats and our sunscreens, our keys, anything else that needs to go in there in addition to the shoes. I also have a bin of my kids' socks in the shoe closet because then they can easily grab their socks and shoes at the same time. Next, I have a couple things in my upper cabinets that have helped me stay clean and organized. So the first thing is this corner shelf rack for small plates. Before, I just had all of these smaller plates just stacked on top of each other and it wasn't a very efficient way to use the space and all the dishes were stacked up really high and it just didn't look super great. So I found this corner shelf on Amazon and it's really nice because then I can divide up my smaller plates and it just keeps things nice and organized, clean. It looks so much better and I'm using the space more efficiently. Now let's move on over to the pantry. Now the pantry gets disorganized all the time and I'm always having to kind of tidy and clean it, but this one really needed a big refresh. So a couple years ago, I refreshed the whole pantry. I took everything out of it and I really did a good job of organizing it. But now I have a couple extra things in there that I wanted to show you that have me stay organized and clean. So what I did was I got these clear plastic tubs with lids and I put some baking things in there and some seasonal items I don't need access to all the time. I really like the ones that have lids so then you know dust and other things won't get in there since it's at the very top of the pantry. I also bought similar style bins that are clear so then I can put my kids snacks in them down towards the bottom of the pantry. I really like that they're very sturdy and they're pretty deep so then they can fit all of the snacks little applesauce cups, fruit cups, and those have been really nice to have. So three years ago when I did my first pantry makeover video, which I'll link right here, I bought these food containers. So then I could put everything in a container and it didn't have to be in its original packaging. Stuff stayed fresh longer and I have really, really liked them. The only problem is three years later, some of the lids don't exactly snap onto the actual container nearly as well. And so that's kind of annoying, but I still really like these. And for the price that I was willing to pay, I think these are really good because if you know anything about these like pantry containers, they're really expensive. So I really like the ones that I got and I'm pretty happy with them. And until I'm ready, ready to invest a lot more into similar containers that are a little bit higher quality. These are just fine. Another thing in that video that I got that I still use and I highly endorse are these can organizers. I have a couple of them down on the floor of the pantry because I didn't want the weight to be too heavy on the shelves, but I have all of my cans in here as well as like soda cans, sparkling water, anything like that fits in there too. These are really nice to just keep track of the canned goods that you have in your pantry so nothing gets lost or wasted. Okay, speaking of not wasting food, this is a newer invention, not invention, but a newer find that I've been loving recently. It is a bag sealer. So I do have 
a large food saver machine, but it's kind of a hassle to like bring it in and out. And I only use it when I'm putting like large amounts of food and I want to like keep something frozen for a while. But this little bag sealer is so nice. It's so small and convenient. It just stays on my fridge since it has a little magnet and it seals food packaging to keep it fresh. This is really nice so it can keep like a bag of chips really nice and fresh because it seals everything in. This is a really small and inexpensive tool that I think makes your life better and so I highly recommend this. Another thing in my pantry that helps me stay organized is this plastic wrap holder. I put everything on this little rack that I don't keep in my sandwich bag drawer so I have my foil, my my parchment paper, wax paper, press and seal. I also keep my box of lasagna noodles in there because <laughs> it just fits so nicely there, but it's really nice and it just stays in one corner of the pantry and it definitely keeps things nice and clean. Something that I am absolutely in love with is having Lazy Susans in the pantry, especially if you have a corner pantry, anything that can get lost in the hidden depths of that corner, you need to have a Lazy Susan. So I have these three or four Lazy Susans in the corner of my pantry and I put all of our smaller jarred goods and everything like that in there. And then I also purchased some smaller Lazy Susans to put on this shelf of the pantry where I have frequently used items like protein powder, oils, vinegars, things that we grab for all the time. The Lazy Susans really help things stay organized and not cluttered all over the shelf. And it helps so then you can see exactly what you have and you're not missing anything. Another pantry item that helps keep things clean and organized is this tiered shelf. So I always put like my miscellaneous canned or jarred goods on there where I only have like one of the item and then it helps me know exactly what I have and things aren't getting lost in the back. It also looks really nice and it also has kind of this grippy texture so then things don't fall off. In the other cupboard, which is like our cup cupboard, I have this water bottle holder and I really like it in there because we have lots of larger tumblers, water bottles, larger cups that need a home that don't fit going up in the cupboard. And so it's nice to see them sideways and it also helps not to get things lost in the back of the cupboard. I also have an overflow one in the pantry where I put our extra cups, extra water bottles, tumblers, things like that. Another area of the house that gets really disorganized super quickly are my kids' closets and drawers. So their clothes are really small and they're taking things in and out and they're responsible for putting things away. And so sometimes they just get thrown in there and so I got these drawer dividers that are adjustable and they're very sturdy and they keep things in line and organized these have been a game changer I also use these in my own closet in my own drawers and it helps just keep you know smaller items organized I have this one that goes straight down the middle and then I have two sides where I can put my shorts or my tank tops or anything like that so if you close this now you'll see that I have them all labeled because I got this really cute label maker for Christmas for myself. It's really nice because there's no ink in here that you have to replace. That was important to me and it was important to me that I could just recharge it. I didn't want to be like buying new batteries and replacing batteries and something like this. So it's rechargeable and there's no like ink cartridges that you have to replace. The way that you get it to print is you have a little app that connects to it and I'm going to make one for snacks. So like I'll do something like that and then I center it and I can make the font different and I can center it again. So it looks like this, this is so cute. And it's so easy because they have so many different options on here. But then all I do is I hit print label. Look, <laughs> and then it just comes out here and I just rip it off. And then I have been labeling everything. Honestly, like labeling makes such a huge difference, especially for like my kids' toys tubs, for anything in the pantry, for my kids just, they have so much stuff, like just different things that need labeling. Labeling helps to organize anything so much better. If it has a home, then it's easy to put away and things stay clean and organized. So anyway, this label maker, it's awesome. It came with different colors of tape and I use this all the time to label pretty much anything. All right, that's all we have time for today, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you subscribe for more and watch this video next and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.